Okay, so letting 11 draft picks choose our foot champions team. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u7buy.com and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title, the intro, the thumbnail, etc. Today, we're letting 11 foot draft picks choose our foot champions team so before we get into explaining obviously the challenge and i'm sure you guys can probably assume how it's going to kind of go like i always say what i want you guys to do is let me know in the comments below any future challenges you guys would like to see this one is actually from the comment section so i will try and do the most liked one in the comment sections below in a future video so get commenting and any ones you like make sure you hit the like button on that comment as well but yes back onto today's episode so basically how this is going to roll is we're going to go into a draft and the formation we get is going to be our formation for the team and the players we pick are going to be the players for the team however we're going to put a rule in for this as well in terms of icons because i think at least from what i'm hearing you can get a lot of icons currently in foot draft so we're going to limit ourselves to only one icon to make it a bit more challenging in terms of actually the team overall how good it is and also for the chemistry so yes we've got to choose our icon wisely and also make sure i can actually afford the icon so yeah that's basically how it's going to work obviously we're not going to have any subs because we're only having 11 of the picks which are going to be the starting 11 so it's going to be interesting it's going to be fun hopefully you guys do enjoy it. if you do smash the like button and let me know in the comments below but anyways that's enough of me talking let's head over to fifa let's get into the draft build the team see what we get and then we can buy the team play a game of champs and see what we can do okay here we go time to enter the draft and the formations are the 5-2-2-1, the 3-4-2-1, the 4-3-2-1, the 4-3-1-2, and the 4-5-1. Okay, well, there's one formation that I really like in this, and also the most meta formation in the game we could possibly choose. At least one of the most meta ones, I'd say. In the 5-back, everyone seems to rock a 5-back nowadays, don't they? However, one of my favourite formations is definitely the 4-3-1-2. That is the one that I'm rocking currently, so I'm kind of leaning towards that. I can't lie. And yeah, I think we're going to go with that. We're going to go with the 4-3-1-2, so let's select it. And who are our captains? Okay, we've got a couple of icon people we could choose here. Don't know whether I want to use my icon just yet, though, or do we? Ah, it's a hard choice. I mean, the other options, obviously, Veya, Fekir, and Guerrero, which, you know, some of them are all right. Some of them aren't the greatest, probably Fekir being the best one outside of the icons. I have actually got Baby Zola, so I'm kind of tempted to go for Zola and just use his baby card. That's what I'm kind of thinking right now. But then do I want a different icon in a different position? I don't know. Oh! Uh, uh, you know what? We're going to take Zola. We've took Zola. He's going to be our one and only icon for this team. So we can't get another single icon, which is kind of going to be challenging, especially if we have to turn down some decent ones. Okay, so he sits in the cam roll for now. So let's work around the rest of the team. You know what? We'll go with strikers first. We'll go with strikers first. Let's see what we're working with up top. Okay. I can't want to be cheeky here and use this for the Wild Schmidt and actually upgrade to his uh, storyline. I genuinely haven't used this card yet and I don't want you guys to hate me in the comments for doing that. You know what? Let's say one upgrade allowed. Maybe if you guys don't want to see that in future episodes, let me know in the comments. We are downgrading Zola, remember? We're downgrading Zola from 90 rated to his 85. So I feel like in return, it's okay to upgrade this card to his better one. If not, if you guys are not happy with that, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, back on to the next player. Striker number two to partner Walshmit. Who's it going to be? Oh my god, thank god we got a non-icon choice. Because if we didn't, uh, I don't know what I would have done. However, we do have a non-icon player, and it's literally the only option. So, we're going to have to take Mr. Future Stars Isaac here. I'm not sure what he's like, but he was our only choice. So, um, we have to go with him. Okay, into the midfield. Can we get a bit of chemistry kicking off here? Ooh, okay, Kimmich is... You know, definitely linking with Waldschmidt there. And I think that's the one I'm going to go with. I'm not going to lie. We'll go with team of the tournament, Kimmich. Okay, central centre mid. The centre piece to the centre midfielders. Oh, my, my God. Matthias genuinely would have been perfect for this. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, we can't take Matthias. So who shall we take? You know what? I'm going to take the card that I really want to try and that I haven't tried yet. And I'm actually going to go with Kessie. I know he doesn't link, but I really want to try his card out and he looks solid. Okay, the final midfielder for the team. Who do we get? Uh, anyone that wants to link? Gundogan gets a German link. That's about it. Oh, God. I mean, Sola does kind of link as well because he's La Liga, but what the hell do we go for here? I, I, you know what? I'm going for him. We're going for Gundogan. All right, the team's looking interesting so far, but let's continue on with the defense. Left back option. 
We've got a German link. Schulz is definitely, that's straight up, we're going for Schulz. 100%, a nice strong link to Kimmich there. That's what we like to see. The chemistry, better. All right, left center back. Who do we get? Come on. Someone decent. Ooh, Klosterman. Yes, please. A lovely green link triangle, finally. Hallelujah. Okay, so to join him at center back, right center back, who's it going to be? Who do we see? Oh, I don't know. Don't go for here. I mean, literally none of these link. I don't think. Obviously, Bar Campbell. But stupidly, I gave myself a one icon rule. You know, we wanted to make it a bit more challenging, I guess. And then maybe link him with a, hopefully a Spanish right back. So we'll go with Ramos and pray that we get some sort of right back link. All right. The final defender before we get to the goalkeeper. Who is it going to be? Come on, EA. Be kind to us here. Navas. That's nice. And Carvajal. Carvajal's a hyperlink. But Navas is better. However, I think it's not really going to make a difference to Ramos' chemistry if it's a hyperlink or not. Look, he's going to be seven chemistry still no matter what because he's going to have three dead links. And even if the goalkeeper's like a strong link, I don't think it's going to make much difference. So I guess we'll go with the pacier option in Jesus Navas. That is what we're going to go with. And now... Onto the goalkeeper. Please, someone that links, that's decent and gives us decent chemistry. All right, here we go. Who's the last player? Do one of them link? Oh, Herodeki actually does. I think we're going to have to go with Mr. Herodeki. Yeah, I think he's going to be our best option there. Sadly, no strong links with the keeper, but, you know, at least he's got a bit of chemistry. So, Mr. Herodeki being our final player for the team. All right, so let's run back through the team again. So, in goal, we have Herodeki. Right back is Navas. Right centre back is Ramos. Left centre back is Klosterman. Left back is Schulz. Left centre mid is then Kimmich. Central centre mid is Gundogan. Right centre mid is Kessie. Then, can we have got Zola? Left striker is Waldschmidt. And right striker striker is Isaac. Okay, so that is the draft pick squad, the 11 draft picks. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is buy this team on normal ultimate team. Then we're going to get ourselves into a game off foot champion. So I'll see you guys when I bought the team. Then we can get into the game. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I have gone ahead and bought the team. So here is the team now on your screen in normal ultimate team. As you can see, we've got the downgraded Zola, but the upgraded Waldschmidt. So yes, the team is ready. We are now going to get ourselves into the game. Let's see how this goes. See if we can get the win. So let's do it. Okay, so here is our opponent's team. Wow, what a team our opponent has got. This is going to be a hard game. It always is going to be a hard game, especially this late on a Sunday. We're going to try our best. Let's see what the draft pick team can do. Let's get into the game. Good, good, good tackle. Zola into Isaac. That's a good ball. Oh my God. All Black is on fire. Ramos. Oh, oh my God. Ramos has scored. What a header. What a header from Sergio Ramos. We are now one to up. Come on. Uh, I think he might be scoring here. Yep. He's absolutely sweated it like that. And it's one all. Oh, I can't believe he's sweated it that much. All right. There we go. It is indeed half time. Obviously, we can't make any changes. So we're literally going to get ourselves straight into the second half. It's one all. Can we get the win? Let's see what we can do. Here we go, Zola. Isaac. Go on with the finish. Oh, that is a beautiful finish. At least he just moaned it, Zola. And he gets an assist. Well, I take it back, Zola. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, good feet from Eto, and it's two all. Ah, oh, that was actually beautiful feet. Fair play. Fair play. Good finish. Zola with a spin. Oh, you did the wrong skill game. Why? Here we go. Vold. Oh! Oh, what a finish! We've taken the lead again. Can we finally hold on to a lead? Please, let me get another and go two up. Into Isaac. Good ball. On the turn. On the finish. Oh, what a save. What a save from All Black. Well played. In the box. Isaac at the back post. Oh my god, what has gone on there? Oh my god, no way. Oh, I just needed a better defender there than Klosterman. Oh, come on. <laughs> nice Navas. Play in the middle. And again to Vold. Spin him. Vold. I can't believe he just put it wide. I can't believe it. Like the ball got stuck. I don't know what happened. And I missed. No, not like this. Not on the 90th minute. Oh, what a save, Heronecki. Okay. Extra time. The issue with us going extra time is we literally don't have any subs. So we just got our 11. We're going to try our best. Like the stamina is going to be gone. But let's just see what we could do in extra time. Isaac. Zola. Ice. Kessie. Zola. Oh my. 
Good challenge. Here we go, Waldschmidt. Into Isaac. Isaac. Oh, come on. Zola. Zola with the finish. Yes, come on. Just before half time in extra time, we take the lead again. Come on. Okay, a final 15 minutes of in-game time. Come on. Let's hold out for this, please. Not long left now. Oh, what have I done there? What have I done there? No, no, no. Don't do me like this game. Let's go, Klosterman. That should be it now. Surely game. Blow the whistle, ref. And he does. There we go. We win. We win 4-3. Oh, my God. Thank the Lord. That's all I'm going to say. I, I did not expect to win with this team, but we actually have. So yeah, an extra time wins away is nice. Like if you go extra time and you lose, that is obviously the worst thing. Like when you have to pay that long for a game and then lose is not the greatest. But thank God we got to win with the draft pick team. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys stay for the full game, you guys are absolute legends. I really appreciate all the support that you guys give. Like I said earlier, make sure you let me know in the comments below any future challenges you'd like to see and smash the like buttons on one you like on ones you like the look of as well. But yeah, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.